So I've been fortunate to be part of this phase 1B clinical trial, which is looking at the combination of venetoclax, which has been shown effective as monotherapy, this with in combination with rituximab for patients with CLL that have been previously treated. And the design of the study was mainly to look at the safety of the combination of the two, but also look at markers of efficacy. So we look at overall response, um, the duration of that response, and then as a defined exploratory marker, important the study also looked at patients that were MRD or minimal residual disease negative. And so what we'll be presenting on in the update, we've presented previously um, on the recommended phase two dose, which is 400 milligrams, and the number of patients achieving a response, which in this study is about 80% uh, overall response rate um, for the combination of the therapy. But what we're presenting here is an update of the patients that attain a deep response. So looking at the patients that are um, obtaining CR, or MRD negative status and were allowed per protocol to stop the therapy and the duration that they were off therapy. We'll also be updating for the patients that stopped treatment for reasons other than response. In other words, why did they come off and how long have they been off treatment?